Sub guys over of here and today we're going to be doing activities for a linear voyage week eight also known as DeFi week as always all links going to be in the description but follow them at your own risk as for the deadline for this week uh, we have july 4th 11 59 p.m utc time and if you completed tasks within that time frame you'll be able to claim points for three additional days. We got in total 440 points and without further ado, let's start. The first quest is gonna be for Fluvi or Flavi wallet, not sure the correct pronunciation. So here we need to, first of all, download and install this wallet from the Chrome store. Once it is installed, we need to click on the extension and we need to sign in with Google. As far as I understand, this is currently the only way to sign in. Then we need to set the password. All right, congratulations, your journey starts here. And we're done, pin your wallet, I've already pinned. We need to unlock it and here, the tutorial says that we need to connect the Flavi wallet via Wallet Connect. So for that, you just click here, connect Flavi wallet. You get the Wallet Connect pop-up. Here we copy this link and we go into the wallet, clicking the Wallet Connect button here and pasting this address and clicking OK. And as you can see, we got connected and you now see your wallet address here. Next. Let's follow that Twitter. Next, we're going to receive Linea ETH and tokens. Clicking on receive, something went wrong. That doesn't work. But in order to complete the quest, we need this page that says for Linea Voyage on Galaxy. And here we need to connect the Flavia wallet and connect the MetaMask that you're using for linear voyage. However, as you can see, it says no transaction has been sent. There should be at least one transaction using Flavi wallet. If the faucet doesn't work, I assume we can just go ahead and send some linear ETH uh, from our main wallet to this Flavi wallet address. At least I'll try to do that now. We'll see how it works. So let's just copy this address. I will go to my MetaMask and I will send some linear ETH. Okay, the transaction has been confirmed and our ETH is here. Okay, now I will go ahead and send some ETH back to my main wallet. And hopefully that transaction will count for completion for this. Next, are there no gas settings? in this wallet. Wait, there is two-factor code. Yeah, it got sent to my Gmail and in my case it went right into spam. So if you don't see it, be sure to check the spam folder. Okay, transaction sent. Yeah, and now as you can see, this warning disappeared. So this transaction actually counts and we can now go ahead and submit. First, we need to sign in MetaMask. Then we need to sign in Flavi wallet. Okay, for some reason, nothing shows up in my Flavi wallet. There is nothing on notifications. Let's disconnect and reconnect. Maybe that will help. If you see something here and connected, be sure to delete it. Then we need to connect again, copy. Again, this is only if you have some issues like myself here. Okay, let's try again. Nice, this time we got notifications. It may or may not pop, I'm not sure, but you're gonna see notification here and you're gonna see notification uh, when you open the extension, you're gonna see this where the bell is. Personal sign, we click on this one, go on next and sign. And now it says you already done mapping tasks. And also in guide it states that you can only map one Flavi wallet address to one MetaMask address. All right, that was the start. And now we're gonna move to compound application. Here we need to borrow USDC. 
and then supply USDC. You can just follow the link in detail as always. So as always we're connecting the wallet here. I assume next we need some ETH as collateral. Submit. I'm gonna use aggressive. And now we have the function of borrow USDC. And also it seems like there are no limitations on the amount. So we click update action or add action depends on the state of your transaction. And then we go ahead and submit. Again, using aggressive gas. Okay, now we can go ahead and repay USDC. Nice, we got it. And now we need to supply USDC. For me, I already have a bunch of USDC in my wallet from previous weeks. If you don't have any USDC, you can first of all go to the linear faucet, connect the wallet. And then here you can mint yourself some USDCs, but I'm pretty sure since we have the DeFi week, you'll be able to swap for USDC in case the faucet's not working on pretty much any DEX. It took a couple minutes for me for these 100 USDC to actually appear within the dashboard. So if you see zero, just wait a little bit. At this point, we completed the necessary transactions for the quest. However, if you want your tokens back, you need to withdraw your USDC. Okay, USDC transaction finalized. Let's withdraw ETH now. Okay, transaction finalized. And we are done with the compound. And now we're moving on to pancake swap. Here we need to provide liquidity in ETH USDC. We need to swap ETH for USDC or USDC for ETH. Are there any limitations? Swap a fair amount to preserve pool usability. And then we need to remove ETH USDC liquidity. Well, as always, I'm going to be using link in details. If you're not connected, connect the wallet, obviously. And then be sure that you are on linear girly testnet. I mean, in any application, be sure that you're on linear. And here we need to swap. I'll just do some ETH into USDC. Yeah, as you can see, just a very small amount should be enough. And for example, here you can get USDCs with a better rate than on linear faucet. I will go ahead and swap. Good, now we go on to liquidity, add liquidity, ETH and USDC already selected. You can choose the fee tier here if you want. I'll do this amount and we need to enable USDC. I'll enable max. All right, and now we can add checking everything and adding for some reason metamask is not popping okay let's try again i'll refresh the page i have to set the amount again okay now it works let's do aggressive and confirm looks like it's done we're going back if you don't see your pool here just refresh the page Let's go inside and we need to remove liquidity. I'll just actually do 50%. I will leave some in the pool. Yeah, it's been 30 seconds and MetaMask is not popping again. I'll refresh and try again. Remove. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it just acts odd. Let's speed this up. And now we can move to the Kyber Swap. For the Kyber swap, we need to trade any tokens with any value and then add liquidity at least once. Let's go ahead and use the link in description. 
All right, we need to connect the wallet and make sure we're on linear testnet. Need to accept and connect. Okay, let's also do like a small amount. Let's try to do this one. Unpredictable gas limit. Oh wait, I know what's going wrong. We need to increase the slippage here. I'll just drop 15%. This should work. No? Okay, still same, cannot estimate gas. Okay, I'm gonna try the opposite direction. USDC into ETH. Why is this price impact too high? You can turn on DGEN mode from settings. Share settings. Okay, let's do DGEN mode. Confirm. All right. Okay, I will also put 15% slippage. Full DGEN mode. Swap anyway. I already approved UDC, so. It seems like turning on DGEN mode actually helped. And we also need to provide liquidity, right? What would be the correct link for that? I'd rather follow this one, to be honest. Yeah, it's pools. There is 0.3% pool and there is 5% pool. I'll just do 0.3%. Here I'll just do save, so I don't have to input any numbers. And I'll just drop a little bit of USDC and a little bit of ETH. Approve. Also, I think dependent on the gas on linear, if you're using like really, really small amounts here, it's not going to be even worth to withdraw on this liquidity. You can just add this and forget about it. And once it's added, we are going to be done with Kyber swap. All right, it's been confirmed. And now let's move on to air swap. What do we need to do here? There are two quests, perform an OCC swap on any pair and also perform a RFQ swap. For starters, I will just go ahead and follow the link in description. Okay, we connect wallet here. Okay, first of all, let's try to, to create the OTC trade. So here, let's just do some stables. I'll do 5 USDT. Post for anyone. We can review, approve USDT. You can use ETH USDC pair as well, but for OTC, you will need to put uh, the price of the tokens that you want manually. We need to sign. Okay, it says order successfully created. And there is a link here. You can copy that. So you can go to the to the AirSwap Discord in the Linea OTC channel and just drop this link. And hopefully somebody will take that. But I'm actually not sure if this is required or you just need to simply create the order. Now we're doing the RFQ. And this time I'll do the opposite. Wait, it's not gonna load. Okay, let's click continue and wait. Now it's loading. I'm actually wonder if I'm getting the other side of my trade. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Wait, this is odd. Now it seems like it's loading something after I approved. Yeah, I don't think it's right. I'll refresh, but I'll go ahead and disconnect the wallet and try to connect again because now every time I'm trying to, looks like that helped. Disconnecting and reconnecting the wallet. It seems like that was a bug. Because instead of getting the button where you can click complete the swap, it, it was automatically like loading and it was not clickable. So if you get this, just try to refresh. If that doesn't help, try to disconnect and reconnect your wallet. 
transaction submitted, track this on the top right. And here we can see the progress. I'll just wait for it to complete. We'll see how long it takes. Hi, it says swap expired. Please try again. Now let's try to complete again. And this time it completed almost immediately. So we should be done with this one. Also one point regarding the OTC transaction. I'm not sure if this will work if you take somebody else's uh, trade from the Discord. I think it will work, but I'm not 100% sure. And also I forgot to mention that if you click on the OTC button again after you already made the market, uh, you will see the status of your order. In my case, this trade has been taken. That should be it for AirSwap and we're moving on to SushiSwap. And here it says you need to swap UNI for USDT on SushiSwap. As always, use a link in details. And here we need to connect the wallet, obviously. And then we'll need some UNI tokens. So here, UNI, wait, UNI for USDT. So this is a specific swap has to be uni to USDT. It doesn't say anything about the amount, so it can be any amount. I already have uni tokens from the previous weeks. And again, you can either mint it locking some ETH in linear faucet, or if you find uni on some DEXs, you can swap for it. Here, I will go ahead and swap one uni for USDTs. Okay, now we can swap. And gas is so high. It seems like my window got stuck because transaction has been completed, but it's not showing on Sushi. And obviously Explorer is lagging behind now. Yeah, it should be completed. It shows one uni in my wallet and the appropriate amount of USDTs. So that's sushi swap quest, nothing else here. And then we're moving on to Uniswap, where we need to swap some ETH to Ape. Here we need to connect the wallet and then select the Ape token here. We're swapping ETH, right? Yes, we're swapping ETH. And then we don't have to do anything else. So I'll just drop small amount here. I'm not going to swap back because there is a lot more gas I'm paying on the transaction itself. Okay, success. And we're also done with the uni swap.